Again, I stayed up way too late. Um, anyways, today is Alma chapter 14, verses 15 through 29. And in these verses, um, Alma and Amulek are just basically being beaten and just... You know, the judges and lawyers, one by one, come up to them, hit them, revile against them, mock them. You know, they're put into prison, their clothes are taken away, they're tied up. The, um, and, uh, you know, and then, um, after so many days, Alma rises up and prays for strength to overcome, and then there's an earthquake and everybody but them dies. So... Uh, just a few things I want to talk about. There's not all that much, but I wanted to talk about this verse. So in verse 25, what's going on is it's been, you know, a couple of days and the chief judge and all the lawyers of the land and the judges of the land, they come to the prison they, they're before Alma and Amulek, and one by one, they hit them, and um, and the chief judge stood before them and smote them again, and said unto them, If ye have the power of God, deliver yourselves from these bands, and then we will believe that the Lord will destroy this people according to your words. Don't ask for a sign, but anyways. So then it says... That And it came to pass that they all went forth and smote them, saying the same words, even until the last. And when the last had spoken unto them, the power of God was upon Alma and Amulek, and they rose and stood upon their feet. And then Alma cried, and the bands were burst, and the walls began to shake, and then they died. Anyways, but what um, stood out to me last night in my reading was that they they had to endure it all first. Like, um, and it came to pass that they all went forth and smote them, even until the last. And when the last had spoken unto them, the power of God was upon Alma. So it's not like after the first, like, after the first one, he rose up and burst his bands. No, it was the last one. And I don't know, but for some reason in my mind, I'm thinking 12, 12 of them did this, you know. So even if it was 10, they had to endure this 12 times after like days and days of starvation and being beaten, you know. And the power of God did not come upon Alma until the very last one. So it's like, it's like he's not going to deliver us until his own due time like like he could have done it after the first one he could have done it before the first one he could have done it by the sixth one you know but it says even until the last and then the power of God was upon them and um it just it made me kind of think about and realize that you know we have to endure these trials and I'm thinking that they had to endure this so that the judgments of God would be just upon these people, you know, so, um, sometimes it's, it's for our benefit to go through trials and sometimes it's for their condemnation, but you know, it's like, you just have to remember that you have to endure, you know, and, it, and Alma doesn't say, um, well, he does say, how long shall we suffer these great afflictions? Um, but, you know, I don't know. It just, it really stood out to me that they had to go through each one before they could burst their bands. So I liked that part in, in this, in the reading, but in the, in the supplemental, it talks about, uh, according to their faith. They got strength according to their faith to burst their bands. <laughs> it's just... 
two little snippets, so I'm just going to read them both because they're good. And it says, Alma prays fervently for the power of God to be upon them in their dire circumstances. His example resonates with us today and raises an important question of conscience. When we face daunting challenges and adversity, particularly for the sake of the gospel cause, is our first thought to pray for strength to overcome and prevail. There is a great principle demonstrated in how the Lord's anointed deal with the trials they encounter. Recall that when Nephi was bound by his brothers, he prayed for strength to burst the bands. So likewise did Alma pray for strength. Like Nephi, Alma and Amalek are freed according to their faith. This is the lesson. Pray for strength to overcome, not for the challenges and problems to go away. Remember, in the strength of the Lord, we can do all things. And I enjoyed that because it's like, how many times do we pray for the problem to go away? Like, please, can it be over? Why do I have to go through this? Can it be over? I swear I'll be better. I'll be good. Can it be over? But instead, it's like, please give me the strength to endure this. I have not been praying for that during Corona. I have not been praying for the strength and wisdom to make it through this quarantine season so there's the lesson all right that's all I have for today I love y'all bye